Melissa. In this video, I am going to help you get your Uninet iColor 560 white toner printer set up with the brand new uh, Uni uh, Pro Rip Essentials, which is a, basically a stripped down version of what was Pro Rip originally. So this includes just the essentials. It gets rid of all the other stuff that kind of is like menu under menu. So the thing is the, the um, dongle list, so now it's just a code, a license key that you're going to get to install essentials. That is going to come with the iColor 560. Now you need three things. You need a serial number, not the serial number for the printer itself, but a serial number for the software. You need a validation code and you also need um, a system ID. Only one of those actually comes with the printer and that is going to be the serial number. So we need to find the validation code and we need to find the system ID and there is a little bit of a scavenger hunt so I'm going to show you exactly how to install uh, ProRip Essentials and get those other two numbers that you need so you can get this all hooked up and ready to print. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go to the Uninet website for ProRip Essentials. I will put the link for that in the description below. And this very top uh, link here is where you are going to download um, and install the software for ProRip Essentials. So you will just click that and it will go into your downloads on your computer. So you will just find that exe file um, and select it to begin the process of the installation. This is, just as a reminder, a PC-only application uh, for right now. So once the application, or once it starts, um, once the download or once the installation process starts, you will just follow through. Now, again, you only are going to have one of the three numbers that you need. So it's important that you install the software first. That's the very first thing that we need. Now, it's going to ask you which of these serial numbers you have. You have to look on the back of your printer and you'll see a number that shows you um, if yours begins with 54 or 58. So just make sure you're looking at the right thing. If you, um, I would highly suggest that you select that you want to look for this file. It's, it, it, you just want to make sure that everything is downloaded correctly. This actually might take five to 10 minutes for this um, process right here, downloading the required files to work. I did speed this section of the video up um, because it did take, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes. Um, and then you're gonna click finish. What that's going to do it is then going to pop up a window that is going to um, ask you, it's going to give you the system ID. So first of all, click validate software on this little pop-up box that comes up. What you're gonna see when you click validate software is now uh, you have your system ID. The serial number, that's the one that came in the box. So enter that. Now, you need the serial number here and the system ID, and you need to go to the validation website. I will also link to that. When you get to the validation website and put these two numbers in here, then what it is going to do is you will, you will click validate, get validation code, you will get another code, and you will put it back into that gray box. It's The way that it's set up here, it's literally bouncing back and forth, but once you do this once, you'll be validated. You see it's validated successfully, and then you can uh, launch ProRip Essentials, uh, the software, and you will be ready to go. So I'll have other videos on how to use ProRip Essentials um, to print directly to your iColor 560, but that is how you are going to get it all set up.